My name is Erica. I'm 39 years old. My husband Mark is six years older than me. We have been married for over 15 years. Our daughter Nancy started high school this year. I started my handmade business after settling down to raise my child. My handmade business has taken off. I'm getting busier and busier with more orders these days. Sounds like things are going well. But my married life was far from that. I met my husband at work. He was my trainer as a new employee at the time. He was six years older than me, and he seemed like a very mature man. He asked me out, and we became a couple. I soon found out I was pregnant. The order was unusual, but we got married when I got pregnant. Due to severe morning sickness and my husband's request, I resigned from work and became a housewife. Things started to get hard then. Since I became a housewife, I also needed to do the housework at my mother in law's house. My mother in law told me to do housework at their home. They lived only five minutes away from my house. It was right after I resigned from the company. I was suffering from morning sickness. I couldn't even take care of my housework. I repeatedly told my husband that I wanted him to say no, but he wouldn't listen to me. You are a wife. My mother in law and my husband repeated it over and over as if that is an indulgence. Since I became a wife, I deserve to do my parents in law's household chores. Because I became a wife, I must obey my mother in law's orders. I was repeatedly told that I began to think that it was true. My parents' house was a plane right away. It was difficult for me to depend on them. Above all, I was pregnant with a child. I had a child in my belly and quit my job. Divorce did not come to my mind as an option. Fortunately, my husband was kind to my daughter Nancy. I was still able to endure. My mother in law was also kind to my daughter. But that was only for a few years. Since my husband's brother got married and had a baby boy, my mother in law became strict with my daughter. Why isn't she a boy? My mother in law often said to me. My husband was also worried about what his mother thought, so he stopped cherishing his daughter, whom he adored so much. I can't believe that I'm the eldest son and heir, but I don't have any male children. My husband said so and blamed me using his mother's words. My husband's family works for someone else. They are not in business. They have a vegetable garden and a big backyard. They used to own some land a few generations ago. But they gave that up a long time ago and there is no trace of it. I thought, why does he have a problem with heirs? My mother in law seems to be an old fashioned person. And she used words like eldest son and heir a lot. I wanted to be careful not to let my daughter hear those words from my husband and my mother in law. I tried to stay away from my parents in law's house. When I was pregnant, they called me as much as they wanted. But after I gave birth to my daughter, I often refused their calls. I couldn't stay with my parents in law who were always selfish. I wanted to spend more time with my daughter, so I could say no for any reason I wanted. And one day, when I reached the end of my patience, I made a decision right away. When my daughter turned two, I immediately went back to work. My husband and my mother in law were not happy about it. I could see that they would oppose me, so I told them after I got a job and a daycare for my daughter. Someone I met there recommended it, and I started making handmade goods as a hobby. Now I'm a professional artist selling my handmade goods. It all started when I showed my work to a friend. She said, Wow, it's beautiful. If it is okay with you, I want to buy it. I was so happy to be praised that I gladly gave it to her. And then she heard her friends buy my work, and so on. The words spread it like that, and more and more people came to buy my goods. 
Then I decided to sell them online. The more orders started coming in. At first, it was just a side job, but I couldn't keep up, so I quit my job and became a professional artist. I'm still keeping my distance from my in laws, but the occasion like Thanksgiving and Christmas, I have no choice but to visit there. As my daughter got older, My mother in law even started to force my daughter to do the housework. She's a girl, there's nothing else she can do. I was going to lose my temper when she said that. But my daughter calmed me down. It's just a few times a year when we come over to grandmother's. I'm fine with it. If I didn't help, you'd be the only one who would take care of them. She listened to her grandmother. And she did her chores in silence. Seeing her like that, I felt pity and sad. I almost cried. I saw my husband just enjoying drinking with relatives and siblings, having a good time. I felt even more miserable. I'm home. Hi there. You must be hungry. I will make you dinner soon. Mom. When my daughter came home from school, she was acting differently than usual. She called me, then she looked as if she was in a deep thought. I rushed over to her. What's wrong? Did something happen at school? I asked her, but she silently shook her head. My daughter was a calm girl. I had never seen her cry since she started middle school. I waited patiently for my daughter to speak. She opened her mouth as if she had made up her mind. Dad, What about him? She was about to cry. She had tears in her eyes. He was hugging with a woman. A drop came down from her eyes. And then tears welled up as if there was a dam. Over time, my husband and I began to talk less and less. But we were still involved as parents of our daughter. Because of what happened with my in laws and what happened afterward, I thought I had almost no luck for my husband. But as long as he was faithful, I was fine with that. My husband never helped with any of the housework or childcare. I never blamed him for that. I didn't want to risk my daughter growing up in a single parent house, so I thought it was okay. My husband and I would never smile together. But with the three of us, we can laugh at each other. That's why I've endured so much. But my husband was hugging a woman I didn't know. And when my daughter told me about it, and she was crying, I see. I felt my eyes turn red with anger. Mom, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing, Nancy? She couldn't say anything and looked down. The fact that she saw me in shock, maybe it was damaging my daughter too. I'm sorry I'm such a weak mother. If I hadn't seen it. No, Nancy, you didn't do anything wrong. I thought about keeping my mouth shut. But when I saw your face, the scar of her uniform was wet with tears. I could see her face trembling as she clenched them. I couldn't forgive him. Yes, I gently put my hands on her wet fist. The tears I had been trying to hold back rolled down my cheeks. I can't forgive him either. I made up my mind. Honey, can I talk to you for a minute? I said to my husband when he came home. I'm tired, he said. He sighed without even looking at me, hearing the cold tone in his voice. Normally, I would have been unable to say anything, but today was different. I have something important to tell you. He clicked his tongue and sat down across from me at the dining table. What have you been up to today? What? Of course, I was working. What the fuck are you asking me? My husband yelled at me, hitting the dining table hard. I didn't react to it, but continued to speak. I saw you hugging a woman. What? I didn't tell him that Nancy had seen it. My husband was clearly upset. 
He looked at me and sniffed. So, what? So what about it? Are you cheating on me? I asked in a trembling voice. My husband laughed aloud. What else could it be? I was at a loss for words because of his offensive attitude. My husband looked at me funny when he saw me losing momentum. What's wrong with that? What do you have to complain about? What? It's an affair. It's not like I had any feelings for you. I felt my blood run cold when he said that as if it were a matter of course. We got married because you got pregnant and had no choice. We were together because we had no choice, aren't we? What more do you want from me? Because we had no choice? What other reason do we have? I have been with you all this time, and I have supported you. My husband laughed as if he had won. And when he found the papers I had prepared, he took them from me. Divorce papers? What's this? You thought if you showed me divorce papers, I'd listen to you? Nonsense. If you want it so bad, I will write it for you. My husband laughed and filled out the divorce papers and threw the papers at me. Ha <laughs> ha! How can you get a divorce? I'm the one who has been taking care of you, and you're not even working right now. You quit your job just because you were having a baby. You're a loser. You can turn on the papers if you want. You don't even have the nerve. I was looking at the divorce papers on the floor, hearing my husband's voice. You should be thankful that I'm not the one asking the divorce. If you don't want to get divorced, don't say anything. With that, my husband immediately took out his phone and started to make a phone call somewhere. Oh, Alice? It's okay. You can call me or see me anytime now. Because of his sweet voice, I knew right away that he was calling his girlfriend. But I couldn't say anything. About a month later, I was supposed to visit my in-laws for Christmas. It was an annual event. My husband was ready to go to his parents' house. Hey, I said. Get ready. I'm ready to go. I need to talk to you. Later. I don't have time now. Then make time for me at your parents' house. All right. My husband rushed me and my daughter into the car. My husband was looking forward to going back to his parents' house. As usual, he was the only one cheerfully talking in the car. Oh, welcome home! When we arrived, my mother-in-law greeted us with a smile. She took us into the living room. We greeted all the relatives who had come before us. Oh my god, I'm so glad to see your face after a long time! My mother-in-law emphasized the after long time part and smiled at me. I knew my mother-in-law was unhappy that I do not visit their house often anymore. As you become my daughter-in-law, I need you to do my chores too. She told me that every time I came to their house. However, she never said that to my husband's brother's wife. It could be because my brother-in-law and his wife live far away by plane. Well, work, work. My mother-in-law asked me to go to the kitchen. I didn't mind helping her in the first place. You can stay here, Nancy. Hey, Nancy, you too. My mother-in-law urged my daughter to go into the kitchen. No, she... My mother-in-law interrupts me. You are a girl. You should be able to do this, right? She whispered in a small voice. At that moment, something inside me snapped. Honey! What, Erica? Ignoring confused my mother-in-law, I called out to my husband loudly, who was preparing a drink. What? I need to talk to you. I was talking about it before we leave. We can talk later. My husband contorted his face in annoyance. I didn't care. No, it has to be now. Erica, let's work on this first, shall we? Let's work on this first, okay? 
You can talk later. You are my daughter-in-law. I have a lot of things for you to do. She interrupts me, so I won't talk to my husband anymore. As she was concerned about how her relatives looked at her, after looking around a little, she said in a small voice, On Christmas Day, I'm going to push her and her daughter around. I looked at my mother-in-law coldly and let out a small breath. Then, I stood up holding my daughter's hand. As I have divorced, so goodbye. What? What? My husband and mother-in-law screamed like an idiot. I ignored them and tried to leave with my daughter. But they stopped us. Hey! What do you mean by divorce? The first person to shout out loud was my mother-in-law. She was looking at me and my husband alternately. My husband didn't know what was going on. Of course he didn't, because he had just heard about it for the first time. I mean it as it is. I divorced this man. What? Wait. I didn't hear anything about it. What is going on? You told me. If I wanted a divorce, go ahead and turn in the papers, didn't you? What? My husband was speechless. I don't think he ever thought I'd ask for a divorce. What an optimistic person he is. I even admire him. That... You weren't kidding, were you? Of course not. <laughs> Thank you for the divorce papers. I've already turned them in. Why did you? Why are you telling me this at this place? Is that what you're angry about? I looked around at the bustling relatives. My husband is a vain man. He hates to be disfigured like this. But give it up. You deserve what you get. I've told you a thousand times that I want to talk to you. But every time I said it, you said we'll talk later. You're the one who put it off, I said. That's... He knew what I was talking about. He's the one who wrote the divorce papers. He's the one who told me I can turn in the divorce papers. He's the one who did not make time to talk to each other until today. But that didn't satisfy my mother-in-law. What the hell is going on? I can't believe you're divorcing. I'm not going to let you do it. As my son would ask for a divorce, you must have done something wrong, Erika. My mother-in-law unilaterally decided that I was the one at fault, and she yelled at me. Oh, you thought I am at fault. How can you say that so strongly as your son is trembling? My husband knows it's his fault, so he is completely flummoxed over our conversations. Divorce? How am I going to explain to other people? Look! Nancy, you don't like it either, do you? You reconsider and take back your divorce. In the end, all she cares about is her public image and her pride. My mother-in-law looks as if she gets a good idea and told Nancy. Why? What? Why should she recount? Nancy? She looked at her grandmother and my husband with a cold look. Even though dad is cheating on mom? What? What? With the unexpected revelations, my mother-in-law froze. My husband had no idea that Nancy knew about it, so he said, Nancy, why? I saw it. I saw you were hugging a woman. What? Nancy, it is okay. She was so disgusted that she didn't even want to speak to her father anymore. I felt a little sorry for her. I probably should have stopped her from coming today, even if she wanted to come. Are we done? Then excuse us. With those words, I was going to leave. Cheating is a false accusation. What? It's defamation. You have no proof. I'm not divorcing you. My husband suddenly said something like that. I was taken aback. How could he say such a thing? You don't have any proof, do you? Why don't you want a divorce? Is it for your appearance? You said you never loved me. No, I... Sighing at my husband's stuttering, I took out a few pictures from my bag 
and scattered them around. What? This is a proof. The picture of my husband walking hand in hand with a young woman. The kind of contact scene he can't get away with. There is no way to get away with it. Being exposed in front of his entire extended family, my husband's face turned red. He hurriedly gathered up everything. Why did you? I think you've gone too far. I never said I condone cheating. He must have thought that even if he continued to cheat on me, I could not do anything. My husband was so open with the woman he kept seeing. I requested a detective agency to investigate my husband's behavior. I heard that it was very easy to gather evidence. The detective not only followed my husband, but put a hidden microphone into the woman's bag and recorded their conversation. You have been talking about me a lot to this woman, haven't you? What? A free housekeeper? Your mother's sandbag? How did you know that? At my words, my husband's face suddenly turned blue. All the relatives around us were looking at him and my mother-in-law. Mary, I'm not your sandbag. No, um... Even if I married your son, I have no obligation to take care of this house. I have no obligation. I'm done. So from now on, please contact my lawyer. After I told them that, my daughter and I left. I had already turned in the divorce papers, but I requested the alimony afterward. He was going to put up a fight, but as I had hard evidence, he gave up. I also filed a claim against the woman he was having an affair with and got her to agree to pay. For my ex-husband and ex-mother-in-law, the story spread to their relatives and neighbors, and they are feeling very ashamed of themselves. As they are very proud people, neighborhood gossip must be quite stressful. My daughter and I started living a new life together. I'm a handmade artist. My business is doing well. Online orders are pouring in that I can't keep up with. My daughter told me that it's all over social media. I'm free from all the ties that bound me. I realize how hard my life has been. You were so cool back then. I put my daughter go through a bad experience, but now she tells me about it like it's some kind of saga, so I'm grateful for her. From now on, I'm going to do what I want to do, take good care of my daughter, and enjoy my life.